So in this Tobacco University video, I'm going to go over mechanically harvesting cannabis plants. More commonly done with industrial hemp, but to give you some details about exactly how this process occurs. All right, let's get into mechanical cannabis plant takedown options for, uh, regarding for harvest. So first off, using harvesting equipment. It is advised for large-scale operations doing whole plant harvesting because it just makes the process a whole lot easier. While the basic concept and idea are the same, there are different mechanical options to growers and you should be aware of them so you're making sure you select the proper one to fit your particular growing environment. So as we said, there's different types of equipment. We see a couple pictured here. Uh, there are different options, so be sure you select the one that's a good fit for your particular operation. Remember that canvas has a more wood-like kind of fibers than a tobacco plant, so the same equipment is not advised. Just because you've got a lot of tobacco equipment, don't think you can just go right down your canvas field and harvest it in the same way. A lot of growers sadly learn the hard way that the, um, a lot of damage can be done to their um, tobacco harvesting equipment. So make sure it's specialized or uh, at least tested on specifically cannabis. Growers who have tried to use the same equipment because plants are similar, as I said, have kind of severe damage to their tobacco equipment. Avoid this frustration and added cost. Make sure you're spending time with the actual crop you intend on harvesting. Just because it looks the same doesn't mean it can be harvested in exactly the same way with the exact same equipment. The basic process, though, is the same. The goal of the machine is to cut down, remove, and temporarily store the canvas plant um, on the way to the trim or drying process, whatever the grower is choosing. Hemp harvesters utilize a tractor with an implement mounted in the front, side, or even back of the tractor. Um, many different options, uh, but utilizing mainly a tractor. Some uh, maintain the entire plant, others will chop the plant into small pieces, and others will mow the plant at different heights, as we saw in kind of the last slide there. The method you select should be based on your intended drying process and end product uh, that you intend to produce because depending on where that product's going to end up, what kind of what you need to produce in the end may choose how you choose uh, may choose how you go about selecting the harvest process that's the best fit for your situation. Uh, plan the end at the beginning, as I say. Uh, if you're utilizing mechanical harvesting at the end of the season, keep this in mind when you're planting. Having plants in straight rows and equally spaced apart will really help the process in the end of the season when the plants are quite large. So this is just, again, paying a little extra attention to detail. That planting process, that springtime, can really save you a lot of frustration at the end of the season. Uh, so if you're going through mechanically harvesting, just make sure, extra sure, you're kind of in straight rows to allow the ease of the equipment to actually benefit you in helping the process instead of becoming more of a frustration and hindering the efficiency of your operation. <laughs> 